It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Right, hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy collaboration with Dragon Quest XI, guys. I have to say, guys, I'm just so hyped because I love Dragon Quest from the first one until 11 one. I stopped playing since number 9 or number 10, I forgot. But because it get older, I don't have time to like read all the, you know, script and stuff. But this is my first, first, first RPG series that I play. I played this before Final Fantasy, I believe. The first RPG game that famous in Japan is Dragon Quest, then Final Fantasy 1. However, guys, I in love with this game because this is the first one that I play since I'm a baby, little boy. Okay? So look at the graphic man. Before before it's not like this. It's just like just like one dimension. Like um first person shooting. You cannot see yourself. But Final Fantasy you can see yourself and your team. That's why it's like it's evolved in that way. Then you know in the beginning era, Dragon Quest is better in my opinion. Then after like number two, number three, or number four, number five, Final Fantasy just beat everything that Dragon Quest have. All right, that's just my experience. I may be wrong, though, guys. But today, let's talk about the collaboration of Dragon Quest Eleven. There are Eleven, Sabrina, and Vanira. No. Vanessa, yeah, Vanessa. There's a three collector in this game that coming to global today. Today we will talk about the um, Japanese version, guys. So beware that all the information might be different than global today. Okay. So before we go there, let's talk about the step up real quick. I think it's a good deal and bad deal at the same time, guys. So basically. If you do one step up, right, you will get one of this guy. And if you do one more step, so a total of one step and one mini step, you can pick any character of the limited edition that you want. So basically, buy one, get one for free, kind of like that. Okay, so imagine, guys, if you do one step and one mini step, you get two of this um, mage. I forgot his name. His name is Mogedon. I wish this guy is seven star man. The dragon, I want dragon team. Okay, we don't have any good dragon. A seven star Gumi, give it to us. Not like not the good. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Apologize, guys. So basically, if you you imagine you get this guy right, one and one from step up, you get one seven star, and you do one mini step, you get one more seven star. It's like buy one get one free. It's good deal, guys. Good deal. But you need lapis. But if you don't. Too bad for you, if you summon AI Katy Perry. <laughs> Alright guys, anyway, I've been looking for anywhere in the web. I cannot find information on all the new collector that that happened in, in Global today. So, I search, 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 and then finally, it's come to the end. I just Google Final Fantasy JP Wiki, and this is what I get. Demon Commander Homer. <laughs> this is the guy, guys. This guy look badass. Okay? And this guy is collaboration with Dragon Quest 11S. Okay? <laughs> this guy looks like... I'm like, what? 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 I search everywhere. And this guy look like amazing. He used to look amazing. But today, it will not be about him. It will be one of the three collector. First one, let's talk about... Brave 11. Oh, I like the name Brave 11. When we're gonna have Brave 12, okay? Brave 2, I mean. Okay, no, no, don't do Brave 2. We, Gumi, 
we spent a lot of money on this game already. We cannot go brave too. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's talk about um, Eleven and Sabrina and Sa Serena. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go to a uh, oh Senya. I thought it's Sabrina or something. Apologize on all the name and Victoria guy. I screw all up the name, guys. Apologize. Today will be the Japanese version. Um, I kind of highlight them, but they all gone now, so I have to do it by head. Okay. So basically, let's talk about Eleven first. Eleven just a physical damage dealer, guys. However, I see him today is not that powerful because because why if for new player he will become amazing for you guys but for everyone that play like for one year two year three years the end end game boss today now are weeks again magic and summoner guys i have to say mage magic summoner high bridge attacker is the one you're looking for high bridge attacker a uh, physical attacker like 11 is only good for event and stuff that they are weak to physical attack so it's easy powerful okay and i forgot to say which one should you pick okay because this series is about who should you pick the thing is you cannot pick it they give you randomly okay so they give you one randomly for you guys so and then you can get one so it depends on your luck if you're lucky you can you only need to spend 24k lapis if you bad luck you need to spend 50 something k so it's irrelevant so basically they just keep buy one get one free like i said okay like i said if you collect everything in a month you should have around 20 20k in lapis and you need 40k more you might have to spend tiny money on it or you don't get it at all but they are really really powerful collector guys let's have a look at 11 first okay come 11 come tmr with helmet helmet with um limit burst damage of 20 percent this tmr guys i have to say is one of the best maybe the best helmet in the game that if you collect her like esther do limit burst this is the one you're looking for but today esther damn is he she go down by like she ranked top 10 she not she not top tier anymore but with 11 guys i have to say 11 is like oh man it's so powerful okay next is his um super tma at first i thought this like oh boy might be her mood tier go away now because with 11 saw this attack 180 with limit burst damage of 50 oh my god and I come back like, oh, it's a sword. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. Be a multi cool. I almost um super team a cloud super team but nah, this is fine. You don't need super team You don't need this. This this is similar to lightning, guys. So if you have lightning, lightning is not limited. You can get away with it. Okay. So I have to say, eleven is the worst out of the three collector, guys, based on what I read. Okay. So basically, let's have a look at the stat. This HP, this guy, I have to say, guys, this equivalent to tank collector. I think C Tart have 5,000. He have 4,979. Okay? Really, oh shit, what happened? Really powerful, okay? Attack 208, like high end attacker. Defend really high, spirit really high. He is like a tough cookie, guys. He really strong. Alright? Next, you can use sword and heavy sword and all kind of armor. And uh, I will skip everything because I want, don't want to do a 30 minute videos. Last time I said 20 and I do 20. So basically, he just I skip everything. Look at the core ability, guys. The core ability in Japan, this is the one, right? He have triple cast. Okay, you can go through double hand, do wheel, and look at this damage. Look at that. 5 time multiply, 14 time multiply, 1 enemy with ignore defense of 50%. What does that mean to the character we have today in global? Okay, so like I said, you have to keep this in mind. This is in Japan, everything might be changed. I believe this will be nerfed, pretty sure. 14 plus 5, that 19 time multiply with ignore defense of 50%. Okay, so you time 2. Bam! 38 time multiply, 9 hit and then 1 hit. Okay, so it seems like 9 little hit and burst damage on the last hit. Okay, and you can triple cast them. So you time 3, 
114 times multiply, guys. 114. Oh my god, this guy is powerful. Okay, 114. Let's go back to the current collector that we got. This AI catch parry that you guys pulling for. And I get so hype about that and someone complained that X, you know why so when you hype about something, we pull on it. <laughs> I'm apologize guys. I love Katie. Okay, and I love Dragon Quest, so don't pull on it. If you don't if you don't think it's good, don't pull on it, but I will pull on it guys. I will pull on it. Okay, so 114, right? Catchy Perry have 17.5 times 3. We only have 52. So, 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 so. I imagine because one, he is a limited edition. He is special collector. He is a hero of Dragon Quest. Gumi gonna give him 75. Okay, so divide by 3. I believe he will get 25 times multiply on this. Approximately. Okay, approximately. All right, in global, but don't don't take my word on it. This is from my experience and see how Gumi do thing. All right, I might be wrong, hundred percent. Okay, next is his limit burst. is interesting with uh, eleven hit. We don't know uh, the frame rate and everything, and it do twenty two time multiply. So total of forty four time multiply. Right? Imagine forty four time multiply. Okay, you put light on heart in. You plus fifty percent. Okay, let's do fifty percent. Um, you put his um, weapon. Let's go up. You have um, wait, 20 percent on the helmet. Okay, this helmet twenty percent, and you get fifty percent on his sword. That's one hand. If you have one more hand with lightning on his super team, you plus fifty more percent. So you get one seventy time multiply, and then King Rain will come up with armor. That will be another thirty percent. So it's two hundred percent limit burst multiply, guys. Oh my God, this thing is like crazy, crazy stuff. Um, I don't think it's twenty two though. But but let's just go Japan mode right now, okay? Twenty two time multiply, time two for ignore defense, plus two hundred percent. That right? Yeah, that's right. One, three, two time multiply. Oh, he is better than King Rain. <laughs> yes, he is. And it's physical damage, AOE. The thing is, that we don't know, it's chainable. If it's not chainable, it's totally crap. Like King Rain, it have 30 hit, like heal, like Stardust Ray or something, or Aurora Ray, 30 hit. It's amazing guys all right so it's 12 minutes already i'm gonna skip him because i think he's the worst of all okay if you because we will get three of them like i said and it will be random this is the one that i'm not looking for the other two is amazing guys let's start with senya senya is it senya i don't know uh in global they might change the name but it's senya it's senya she look kind of dull but she amazing guys this, I don't care. This, I don't care. Okay, TMR, Super TMR, I don't care. HP, nice. Um, MP, good. Spirit, oh, super high. High end, guys. I believe she is the top tier healer in the game. One of the top three. I still thinking, uh, thinking of uh, Rihanna and the chick from Octopath Traveler. Those two are top tier healer, guys. And I wish, I wish today, if I can turn back the time, I should pull for healer of an Octopath Traveler. That one 80% buff is just god like guys. Because I just checked in Japan, the best buffer in Japan is uh, the new Nico. It's like Festival Nico or something. He look badass. He do 200%. And I think the other guy, the other chick, I forgot her name. Um, yeah, something else is 200% as well. So, that if you have an Octopath Traveler healer, I forgot her name, or Light Liana, those two, you don't need Senya, okay? You don't need Senya, but you cannot choose, all right? But but it's but she's really nice though. But she is not bad, okay? Don't think that you you think it's bad, but she's really good. If you compare to those two, she might be a little bit far off, but she overall is good, all right? Let's have a look. What she have in store? First of all, she can only do double cast on her ability right here, okay? And what's she good at? First thing first, she have increased resistance by 80% for ice, wind, earth, and light. Okay? 
next the core ability is in trust all right and she can have mp heal limit bursting i will not talk about that but the core ability is right here guys the one that i see is this two ability okay so basically part three of light three turn cooldown first turn you can use on first turn and magic poetry three turn cooldown first turn use again what does it do the first one heal you 50 percent to all allies and give you medication taking by 45 percent to all ally guys this is amazing amazing ability and it's three turn cooldown so basically you use it and it's last three turn right then you can use it again okay if someone die and you re-rise you can use this one as a backup it's a 45 percent medication again this is this two ability make her amazing collector guys i don't think they will nerf this because it's, it's, it's not the top tier yet if you have like um charlotte charlotte might be like even better because she can cover and everything and we have to waste one cast on this all right and then she have auto revive on her cooldown ability and limit burst okay and limit burst 27 stone aoe 100 percent uh, AOE auto revive with 100% HP for all allies. This is amazing, guys. Damage, I don't care. You can nerf this to one, I don't mind. All right. Next is, I read it wrong, guys. At, at first, I thought this is her core ability. So when when you start the game, okay, she get a brave leader. What does it do? Is after three turn, you heal everyone for you know 2,500, and at six turn she cast auto revive to everyone so basically every six turn you die you pop up it's auto revive it's just aoe it's just nice thing but at first i thought like oh man it's like one turn two turn because i read in japanese i don't read japanese but so i thought like oh every two turn you can you can get auto revive that's going to be amazing but in global this might be shame okay this might be like five turn and ten turn it's gonna be useless though but this is the amazing thing that come with her okay she, she can do will and oh man look, look at her passive real quick all right so it's been 17 gonna make quick quick please go evade 20 percent do will right that's her best passive that i saw okay and stop resistant really really interesting healer i i if if i get her in my first key first five key I will pull for her even I have to spend money I have to apologize guys I have to break the free to play stuff I don't care I like Dragon Quest if I get her Gumi take my money okay next is the best collector of all guys I consider here is the best one of the best mage in global today even in Japan I think she is the top tier mage Veronica is really really cute guys look at her sprite and she is not fire mage mage okay let's have a look at her core uh, status first real quick tmr super tmr you read them already someone read them for you already i'm not reading them okay magic 220 look at that who have the highest than her nobody okay oh i wish she can have a heavy armor that she can put um um that guy in for 200 magic base okay let's have a look at this guys malasoma okay is in japan all right magic damage of 27 times multiply you can cast triple cast on this in this this is drug a lot guys and you can cast three times drug a lot just go out of the water i'm like pfft, one hit yeah but her that's just like two years ago okay so this this is not the best guy the best ability is she i consider her as the um, best non-element attacker in the game so basically it's this one guys you don't need to like you know um use you know um stack up ability you can just go raw right so basically is 6.5 and 6.5 time two is 13 time multiply right with ignore spirit of 50 percent you time two that's 26 time multiply and it chain with mystery cross which i never seen before okay so it's good and bad guys it means you need need herself to chain with herself oh i look at a long one it's 
This one is 27, right? This one is 30, guys. Apologize. This one is do more damage and it only take four turns. All right. Um, because I highlight them and you know, ah, yeah. Don't forget about it. Taking too long. All right. So basically, she do 26 time on five without anything, without you know cast, but it's non element, guys. But and also when you um, do some of the uh, zone rush, you get more multiply on this as it's six time multiply. I do not sure if this one stack, if it does, or she can be amazing, guys. So it's 13 time multiply, right? And then you add just add six plus six. But I believe normally if we have something like this, it's add up, guys. So basically, so it's 19. If it's not stacked, let's go for not stack. It become 38 time multiply, right? With triple cast, you can get 114 time non-elemental damage. Whoa, okay. If is um 13 plus six, if it's stack, right? Plus six plus four plus two, which I believe is stack, and then you time three, and then you time two for ignore spirit, 150 time multiply, guys. Alright? If it's stack, if it's not, it's another story. But in global, I'm pretty sure damage will scale down to 75%. Okay? So basically plus uh, time 175 it, we will have around 100 time multiply if it's like 150 or something every boss is just destroyed down the drain okay so i think this is around like you know 100 120 maybe 80 percent 75 is a little bit too low to me 80 or the 85 should be fine because mage is like it's quite rare and she do none element okay and um with her limit burst it's amazing as well look at this guys it's 30 time multiply just say 30 right round them up and uh, with 50 percent so it's 60 time multiply and like i said if you put on the limit burst stuff on it let's say mage plus 120 okay bam 172 time multiply again if you go for like eh, can we just go 84 85 percent it would be nice yeah 110 100 something in global would be nice because cloud why i said 100 is the average in global today kingdom heart cloud do 100 time multiply already on the on his limit burst okay one 120 110 or 120 i can't remember but I think average today now for limit burst is around 110, 120. So that's just the, the point of the video, guys. So anyway, guys, let's conclude this uh, amazing collaboration with uh, Dragon Quest. First of all, Homer is not coming home. All right, we will not get this boy, all right? For the three collector, I believe 11 is third place. Um, Senya is second place and Veronica is on the first place guys but they all have good and bad they are really good okay don't don't say that this guy is the best but they are good because they are different role physical attacker healer and buffer and magic user okay okay but we all know physical damage dealer they will have like some crazy stuff that will make him suck really soon maybe in two months and maybe mesh will not down downgrade really really fast mesh even today tt is still workable in many bosses but uh, veronica just like uh, high end mesh guys so it's, it's it, i believe mesh life is like one year or so, okay for physical attacker maybe a week <laughs> And for a healer, it lasts forever, guys. Even today, I still use my Ayaka because I love her sprite. And I love how she just looks adorable, cute to me. Okay? So, Senya will last you forever. So, Senya is good for uh, maybe you already quit the game. <laughs> Alright? And uh, Veronica is good and you need a friend, Veronica, as well. Okay? So, this is my conclusion. I go under 30 minutes for 3 collector. I hope you enjoy this and I apologize for a long video, guys. Anyway, guys, that's it for me on this collaboration. Tell me what you think S down below. Who is the best? One, two, three. And let's see on Thursday or Friday, what do we get, okay? We're gonna have fun. I like this kind of event that we can only pick one that we get, okay? Um, it's kind of good and bad as well. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. You have a wonderful day as always, and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button, guys. Bye-bye.